Next tonight, Buffalo's police force. Does it have enough patrol cars to keep the community safe? With concerns coming from officers, the department is now trying to find new ways to acquire cars at a low cost. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. The police union has concerns. They're, they're stating that there aren't enough vehicles out there for the police officers. It was the Buffalo Police Benevolent Association that raised concerns about a shortage of police cars to the Buffalo Common Council. South District Councilman Chris Scanlon then pressed the police department for a plan of action. They need to have all the tools that, that are required to do so. During a police oversight committee meeting, Commissioner Byron Lockwood said the police department is able to properly handle calls with the cars it has in operation. We have enough cars to fill our what we consider our um, manpower, minimum manpower to answer the calls in each sector. But the commissioner admitted there can be some vehicle challenges every 15 days during shift overlaps. Unusable vehicles are another problem. Of its fleet of 190 vehicles, 56 are currently broken, some unrepairable. Council members asked why the department did not buy 14 new cars that were approved last year. We're doing everything we can, including uh, looking at outside the box ideas. Police vehicles cost roughly $50,000 each. And Captain Jeff Rinaldo said the department is now looking at leasing because it would stretch money and allow the department to get 26 vehicles instead of 14. We talked with other agencies locally that are doing it to make sure that again we were on the cutting edge not the bleeding edge of a new financing uh, program. As to keeping the vehicles running the department admitted there are challenges because of having different makes and models and the council wondered why three police auto mechanic positions have not yet been filled. Those vacancies do create um, uh, challenges for us to fill, but we are on top of it, and as soon as we have a position for which we can hire, we begin that process. Now, if approved by the council, those leased police vehicles should be on the job towards the end of the year. And some other interesting information came out this morning. Crime in Buffalo was down 14% last year, and there was a 20% decrease in the number of shooting victims. In downtown Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.